Skeletons are milling about with a necromancer when a horde of carriages carrying a majority of the stolen Citibank wealth are making a sprint for the enemy territory in order to guarantee their safety. Scouts in the employ of the merchant on the run with the rest of the city spot one of the smaller carriages trying to squirrel its way away from friendly patrols and rescue forces. Necromancer claps her hands together and says she knows just the heroes for the job. Agile, auspicious and rowdy are these such heroes. Rowdy says he's bringing his knoll. However, the necromancer glares at it, but lets it happen in the hopes it dies in the ambush. The skeletons set off at their breakneck on dead speed with the knoll in tow and arrive at the location well before the carriage is set to arrive. Five turns. Skeletons set up rope traps and give the knoll a grappling hook to keep her busy. Rowdy and the knoll set up in the trees while agile and auspicious hunker down in the ropes. Convoy comes down the road, a heavily laden carriage with a single coachman drawn by four in hand and a small escort of mercenaries. All of them are tired looking but still deadly. Convoy sweeps past Rowdy and the knoll who starts whipping her grapple in a tight circle. Agile and Auspicious are fueled by necromantic strength and rip up the rope taking out the first two riders. Both go flying through the air and take substantial fall damage as they plough to the ground. One of the horses is able to ride itself, other crashes hard and shatters its neck. Two of the carriage horses get caught in the ropes, one losing step and getting caught under its harness and breaking a leg. Agile and Auspicious leap into action and immediately start in melee. Agile leaping up onto the coach and beating the shit out of the coachman while dodging the sword attacks coming at him. Auspicious just rolls up to these two dazed mercenaries and begins beating them to death. Wetly, with his grisly, necromantic torch. They had zero chance and just take the whippings hard while barely doing any damage. Rowdy leans out of his tree and starts taking pop shots. I'm guessing that's meant to be pop shots and not pot shots. Yeah, pop shot. well, I think, is it not pot shots? I thought it was pot shots. I thought it was pop shots. So they just go pop shots because that's what he's called. Okay. Rowdy leans out of his tree and starts taking pot shots with his crossbow. The bolts of which are old ones he had pulled out of his old meat suit and are poisoning whatever they hit. The knoll, however, whips his grapple through the air and snags a passing cavalryman, tearing him from his horse and then leaping down from the tree with a fucking knife. Dude is screaming and trying to fight her off, but she gets grappled and is getting in close stabs. Death by a thousand cuts, JPG. The rest of the cavalry escort goes to move up when the fucking legend, Drunk Skelton, comes coolly admanning through the bushes right into the ranks. Puts up a burst of drunk aura, giving everyone enough of a buzz that they have to shake their heads a bit to keep their minds straight. Grey Skelton is beating the shit out of this poor coachman before he suffers an energy error and falls backwards off the carriage. Hammer held over his head mid-swing and clatters to the ground stuck in his pose. He had to leave for a thing. Auspicious Skeleton is still beating people to death and hoovering up their essence with his conduit and Rowdy is still taking pot shots. Noel is still stabbing away at that poor fucker, her strength just holding him down as he scrabbles at her face for his sword to no avail. Drunk Skelton, however, realising where he is, gets a quick mental kick in the ass from the necromancer who tells him to get to work. Skeletal knuckles cracking dot wav. Drunk Skelton hops onto the back of the horse and crushes the dude's windpipe. Maxed out the fucking strength roll, just crushes this guy's throat. Guy is choking and inhaling grotesquely, falling from his horse and landing to the ground with a clatter of armour. Drunk Skelton calmly takes his horse reins, gives another pump of drunken aura and moves easily towards his next victim at a walk. More escorts advance on Auspicious, as on other attempts to get Rowdy out of the tree, a slap fight ensues naturally. Noel finally hills her escort. Hills? Kills? Yeah. <laughs> Noel finally kills her escort. A few people drop from poison damage. Drunk Skelton saddles up next to the escorts fighting Rowdy. Slides over onto his horse and just sits there. Escort freezes as he feels a presence behind him. Escort just slowly gets off the horse. Drunk Skelton's empty sockets following him. Dude turns around to see these two very angry Skeletons staring down at him. On the other side of the road, Auspicious is fighting more and more escorts, taking more damage, but crushing people left and right as he powers up on their life forces. He also starts causing terror, and one of the escorts, who's poisoned, makes a run for it as the others gets bashed to death. Guy who got his throat crushed finally expires in the ground, tearfully holding his neck as the last ragged breath leaves his body. Rowdy shoots the guy who got off the horse, just dies right there with a bolt through the neck. Drunk Skelton sees some fresh targets. 
grabs one of the rideless horses and begins riding hard at a fresh wave of escorts coming to the rescue. Escorts just move around him and fly past him. Noel is running over to Rowdy, see what he's doing, and is caught by two of the reinforcements, taking half of her wounded pull in a single round of combat. Drunk Skeleton wheels around and charges back, seeing his Noel get hurt, whom he claims to have stolen fair and square. Rowdy rattles angrily and leaps from the tree and tackles one of the escorts who stop to try and finish off the Noel. Rowdy brings down his iron rod and smacks the rider on the head, rolling over the top of the horse and landing on his feet. Swings around and bops the rider right off his horse, in which the Noel, quite angry now, takes her knife and leaps on top of the fallen rider. Domino comes running in from the rear and runs someone off their horse from behind. Coachman is still slowly dying from poisoning, calling out weakly around his broken body. Auspicious finishes off the enemies on his side, but the horse of one of the riders seems to like him and licks idly at his skull with a knicker. Auspicious mounts the horse and turns it around, making his way towards the other skeletons. Among the whirling melee with Rowdy and the Noel, Drunk Skeleton sees the target in the rear and moves forward calmly, clip-clopping forward softly. Escort whirls around and points his sword at Drunk, who just sockets him down and rides next to him. Escort is unnerved. Drunk slides over his saddle and behind the escort, feels hard on the roll to grapple, and instead fondles under the escort's breastplate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guy just screams and awkwardly drops his sword in shock. How do I say this? Can you not just come in and go, Welcome to the Bone Zone, brother? <laughs> Welcome to the Bone Zone, brother. Drunk rattles this out before quickly getting the rider into a chokehold. Escort screeches in confused terror and scrabbles at Drunk's arms. Drunk is softly rattling into his ears. Is this going to get sexual? Rowdy jumps onto another rider out of frustration and wraps his leg around the escort and starts trying to jam his skeletal thumbs into the escort's eyes, both of which are failing and passing enough strength checks to the point it looks and sounds like that dagger scene from Saving Private Ryan. Escort is screaming at Rowdy in anger and fear as the skeleton's ancient digits are right in front of his eyes. Noel is fighting on the ground with one of the escorts and spots Suspicious riding hard in her direction. Winding back his conduit, Noel thrills and arches her back, hauling the escort upwards for a clean shot. Auspicious just clubs the escort's head clean off, bouncing down the road with a red trail. Noel just drops the body and starts dusting herself off. Auspicious continues riding towards the escort that's in Drunk's choke and does a passing strike in the escort, caving in his rib cage a bit. A loud scream is heard as the escort fighting Rowdy feels a strength check, and Rowdy's thumbs rocket into his sockets, blood and jelly falling down his face. The screams stop PNG. Rowdy grips the escort's skull, and with an impressive strength check, rips off the escort's head, his mouth still open in a silent scream. Noel golf claps, then begins to take the boots off the feet of Drunk's victim, and idly tickles the escort's feet while seeing if the boots will fit her. Drunk's target chokes in blood and lack of air, and Drunk just tosses him off the horse onto the ground, rubbing his skeletal finger on his nasal socket contemptuously. Last two escorts try to make a run for it. Drunk and Auspicious ride after them, and a true drunken fashion leaps off his moving horse and tackles one of the riders, grips the rider hard and braces against the side of the moving horse, pushing hard. Both him and the escort fly off the horse. Watch out, watch out, gif. Drunken slams the head of the rider onto the road. As the escort glumly presses his broken hands to the road and try and push himself up, Drunk raises both his fists and bring them down onto the back of the escort's neck, a loud snap echoing through the trees. Auspicious is still chasing down the other rider and clubs the rider to death with a single swing, bringing his back in a single arching swing. No witnesses, he rattles, and turns his horses around to pick up Drunk, and then rides back to the grip. Rowdy tosses the head over his shoulder, wiping his thumbs on his trousers. The Noel sniffing angrily and licking at her wounds. And the coachman, who goes to stand but finally succumbs to the poison in his blood and falls over to the side of the carriage, legs rolling through the air as he lands with a hollow thud on the ground. End session. So look, boys, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Garbo Miniatures. He is the author. He's got a YouTube channel. He, as you can tell in the name, he reviews miniatures. And his stuff's pretty cool. And he has some really unusual models that are definitely worth checking out if you don't want to buy my 3D printed models, of course. But look, I um, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, story. I love the way this is added together. I actually really prefer it to the other way. 
but it does take an awful lot longer and i'm really enjoying that you guys are liking megan's voice acting because there's actually a lot of fun working with her you know um it's very different to what i'm used to doing anyway but like um if you're missing the text speech go ahead check out the flasher it's currently still monetized at the time of recording this so like please go ahead and check it out if you're subscribed here go ahead and subscribe over there because that's really going to be my main channel for the next month and a half until we get this channel monetized again hopefully hopefully we get it sorted out soon because it's not nice to be suddenly fired from your job without warning you know when especially when everything's doing so well but look i don't want to keep you too long um thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you in the next video